Welcome back. Millions of Americans will be taking to the roads, rails, and skies this holiday week. AAA expects nearly 47 million people to travel. Most will be driving to their destinations, and travel experts predict that Wednesday and, of course, Sunday will be the busiest of days. Before loading the family into the car, check to see if you're prepared. One thing people forget about is that they may not be dressed to be stranded during a Thanksgiving you know, holiday because they may be dressed up and wearing dresses, uh, high heels, slacks, mm -hmm. you know, light jackets. But if you break down on the side of the road and it's you know, 10 or 20 degrees, it can get cold very quick and, and dangerous very quick. AAA expects to rescue 360,000 motorists this week for many things that would be prevented like dead batteries, lockouts and flat tires. Just short of 215,000 pounds of food. That is how many pounds of food was raised by young students in our area that have helped thousands of people in need this holiday. It was a very, very busy morning at the Fargo Dome. The annual Fill the Dome project is again a huge success. It's planned, coordinated, and carried out by students in Fargo-Moorhead schools and students from the surrounding area. Before today's totals are added in, these young people collected 1,294,000 pounds of food and more than a half a million dollars. It all goes to the Great Plains Food Bank. And the bank's Melissa Sobolik says this project is making a huge difference. When we're looking at hundreds of thousands of pounds of food that are going to be on the Fargo Dome floor that will make their way to families' tables, even by Thanksgiving, as early as tomorrow, some of this food will be going out. The project has been in the works for several weeks, and the leaders organized things like dances, a battle of the cans, and trick-or-treat can events to help fill the dome. Nice work. Different kinds of numbers, but uh, one bison uh, putting, uh, putting up the scoreboard a little bit. That's right. He certainly is. Paul Miller is really stepping up in his sophomore season, but uh, Coach Richmond has maybe some other plans for this group. Stay tuned. We'll hear from him next.